one a priceless gift. It's price and it is less. <laughs> That's it. Means it is not about the price is less. You cannot put a value for that particular object or subject. And the particular object is that it can be your lover, your wife, your husband, your, your children, your parents, your family, your joint family, your family. If you can understand that those are priceless, the whole world will go to hit you. Because you are the most powerful, priceless gift they could ever see. Inch Time Foot Gem, the 32nd story from the Zen Flesh Zen Bones, written by Paul Trips. Lord asked Takuan, a Zen teacher, to suggest how he might pass the time. He felt his day very long, attending his office and sitting stiffly to receive the homage of others. Takuan wrote eight Chinese characters and gave them to the man. Not twice this day. Inch Time Foot Gem. This day will not come again. Each minute is worth a priceless gem. <laughs> if everybody understood that every part of your body, like the HF cows, last drop of talent is removed, milk is removed from the artery of the HF cow, the cow is healthy, it seems. And you make the profit. If you leave you one drop, they're talking one drop, not liter. One drop back in the of the chef cow, the cow will fall sick and you will lose the profit. That one drop losing is different, leaving it inside, in your body, is constipation. Leaving that one drop of milk back in the of the chef cow can destroy and kill the cow. It becomes cancerous very fast. Every engineer in the whole world knows except, except the doctors. Doctors should have been the disciples of every engineer. Every religious leader and politician should have been the disciple of engineers. Instead, so they use the engineers and misuse the engineers. You said through. Engineers knew, every engineer knew. The smallest gap in a building, water enters, it can destroy the total building. So much precision, even when mixing the cement also, they watch, the engineers watch, they don't even believe the masons, whether the mix is proper. But nowadays, that is different, but that is how a lot has the good Zen teacher to suggest how we might pass the time, yes. The passing the time, then you do not know how to, you, if you do not know what is your value, what's the value of you, the day you forget, I think that is where the destruction happens. And it's the duty of every parent to make sure that the child, every part of the child body, physical body is beautiful and utilized. And the physical body has got internal physical, which has been cleansed every day, not a drop of dirt to be left. That cleansing is called fasting. That cleansing is called cleansing. Yes. That cleansing is called meditation. Yin and the yang. External, internal. If you can do that, then you can sit in dhyana and you can find, yes, the spiritual world open to vast ocean. That vast ocean is priceless gift. You have destroyed that priceless gift by not cleaning, it's just cleaning, yes. Cleanliness next to godliness. The Lord has the Kone said, how do you make past the time? When that is the situation, then time comes in between. You work according to the time. You become a slave to the time. Make the time your slave. You become a slave to your pain. Make pain your slave. You become a slave to your money. Make money your slave. Yes. Once you understand that every part is important, 
Every inch of your land is important. Premila Nisargi Madam visited Rakumji Ashram two days back for Varamahalashmi Appa and she said, You must go to Israel. I will make arrangements for you to go to Israel. Go and see him. Every smallest part of the land they utilize, they will even teach you one glass of water to how much varieties or usages it can be of use. Israelis. They are thinking, they are controlling the American economy, American presidents or the world. But to control, you have to work very, very hard. And when you don't give a smaller space, then you control the diseases. You control the outset world. When you give the smallest gap, the outset world control. The smallest gap, the smallest gap, a small drop of water can enter your building, your body, your mind, your can destroy you. Hence, the Quran was asking how to pass the time. Everybody is asking that in the moment you ask how to pass the time, you cannot live. You are not living. You are dying inch by inch. So much land and space is there in your house. Every part of your wife's body you have not explored, your husband's body is not explored. If you ever explored, you are the doctor, you are the psychologist. You can write beautiful books. He felt his day very long attending his office and sitting stiffly to receive the homage of others. Taquan wrote eight Chinese characters and gave them to the man. Not twice this day, inch time food gem. Two times you cannot step into the water twice. By the time a huge amount of water has flown, whatever little space you get it, you plan it. It is orgasmic satories and enlightenment. All three come together. Yes. It is was powerful. You automatically become a magnet. Yes. But that every inch, not twice this day, you will not get twice, don't waste it. <laughs> not that it is hardest labor. You will forget about the hardest labor. You will only find how to do gymnastics in all those things which is around you. Inch time foot gem, every one foot. It's a gem, it's gold. This day will not come again. Each minute is worth the price. Was give minute each and every second, each and every part of your body, your family's physical body, then the joint family, the family tree, your house, your land. Looking up to the sky, you are thinking you have a land of 30, 40 sites and you have a house. What is the value of this? Sweet is priceless, please understand. Don't sell your family property priceless because just you look up, they have not put a value to that sky. The house stretches up to the sky. It is vast, huge. You are a priceless gift. Look down the earth, you can dig and dig. And in the same Plant without any visa, without any permission from any government in the world. Rainwater just falls into you. You don't even have to write a thank you letter or an application for a pension. Water just falls. Sunlight just shines in your place. You have not paid it for it. Each minute is worth a priceless gem. You are a priceless gift by the nature and God. If you understood that, nobody is poor. Everybody is pure. In that purity, you are truthful. God. <laughs>